All right, you all, it's time for a book haul. I know you guys love them. They're the books every, they're the ones everybody wants to watch. They just love a good haul to see what people are bringing into their homes and hopefully they're reading. But my first month went really, really good. I want to read like 20 of my own bookshelves this year, which reading way more would be excellent. And so yeah, I read five the first month. So we are on a roll, so it's okay. Maybe next year, not this year obviously, maybe next year I'll do like that ban where you like try to read your own and you don't buy any books kind of thing. I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, let's get started. Book haul time! <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. The comic sneaker. So this is about Rosa and Francois and they end up in Arctica together and they're immediately drawn together. I'm not sure, but the book is called The Comic Seekers by Helen Sedwick. I thought it was really cute covers I went in and picked it up. I like the little synopsis on the back. It's placed in Antarctica. If any of you guys watch, there's like a TV show where the guy is like obsessed with penguins and I love it and I'm like, kind of want to read something about them even though is Antarctica the opposite is Antarctica where the polar bears live I don't know I have to look it up I gotta learn more things I'll probably learn in this book <laughs> but it's not really cute it's got a little cute cover it's a shorter book always nice to pick up a shorter paperback love paperbacks <laughs> this one however is not not at all so I think I have all three now which is exciting so if you guys did not see, I'll put a card in up here. If you guys did not see my TBR from the year, one of the books on my TBR from the year was The Fall of Giants. So I hear the books read really, really fast, even though they're gigantic. Um, and you'll want to read all three of them. So I have all three now, I believe I have all three. If not, I'm going to have to find book two. I have three of Ken Follett's books. So this is Edge of Eternity. This is book number three in the trilogy. I hear it's amazing. I hear it's wonderful. Everybody seems to love them. So I'm hope I'm right in buying these books. But um, yeah, I saw this one at a used bookstore. I just went ahead and picked it up because once I get started something, I do like reading series, especially if they read quickly. Yeah. Who doesn't like reading series? It's ridiculous. <laughs> the next one is Sophie Kinsella's I Owe You One. I read this one last year. I gave it four stars. Really, really liked it. Um, there are some books that I give away if Sophie can sell it, some I don't, but this is one I really truly enjoy. And I don't think this was like the original cover last February. They did end up putting out a different cover, and I like this one. It's pretty cute. But it's I owe you one. The girl meets the guy, and she owes him one, and it's like a ticket, and then he owes her one, and it's a ticket back and forth. It is a romance read. They end up owing me one, so it brings them together a lot. He is in a relationship for a huge portion of this book. She's in like a family relationship where her family's just kind of gone bonkers. Like they do the craziest stuff all the time and she's like just trying to get them back together and her mom's like off on a vacation and she's trying to get the store like back on track to like making profit, um, her family store. So all bets are off. Nope, this says love means all debts are off. Incorrect. Read this one though. Glad to have it on my shelves. Glad to collected it. And check it out if you haven't read it. It came out last year. <laughs> this one, Sky, is uh, Neil Schusterman. I think I tried listening to this and I didn't quite like it, but everybody talks about it. I think the third book or something came out recently. It won a Prince Award. It's got to be good, but it's, I don't know what it's about, but it's about these guys. Like, it's like a, it's, I know it's a dystopian world. I kind of don't want to know what it's about because then I can really get into it. But when I saw this at the Friends of the Library store, I went ahead and picked it up because I was like, definitely gonna read that Sunday, maybe, definitely. But I do love, I do love a good YA dystopian, which that's exactly what that is. That's one of my favorite genres to read. <laughs> the next book is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I really like this book and I loved um, our love this book. I also loved her second book last year on the come up. So I'm excited to collect that one day as well. And this was done really well. This is obviously the movie picture. I wonder if it came out with just the movie because the book and movie came out really close together. Um, oh, there's photos from the movie. So I don't know. I think this one must have came out after, but really good book. 
really gigantic. It's a YA read about a girl who grows up in a kind of gang area. Well, it is a gang area. Um, it's rough and tumble and one of her friends gets shot. And it's sad and it's devastating. He gets shot by a policeman. And yeah, it's a, it's a very good YA. Very, very on topic right now. Uh, the next one is also a Prince Award. Um, and it's codenamed Verity. I checked this out because everybody was ranting and raving about it a few years ago and I had checked it out then and I tried reading it a few times and didn't get along with it. And then somebody again was telling me it's really good and sometimes when I go back again like a while later and read them and then I get it. I think this is a YA uh, version World War II historical novel. I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. I don't quite remember. I just remember everybody loving this book and me never actually getting around to reading it. <laughs> um, this one is called Dear Mr. N. Herman Cart. I'm not gonna lie, this is a book cover thing. Like, I don't know why this black and white and red, but it's just like, I like it. Like, so this is about a writer who writes about a real disappearance of like this beautiful guy who disappears after having like a relationship with a student which I'm sorry <laughs> I can't read those books typically but his neighbor is very closely watching the writer and so it's like a twist on twist kind of book which intrigued me because I don't know it just sounds kind of fun I like it when there's a lot of twists in those kind of books and hopefully it'll keep me glued the next one of course I bought based on the author I'm sorry I might. Anytime I see a Kristen Hanna book, especially at a used bookstore, I'm like, okay, I'll pick it up. And it's a beautiful cover. This is called True Colors by Kristen Hanna. Uh, this is about three very different sisters. It is about one sister, just like her dad doesn't really approve of her. Um, there is a ranch involved. Her dad is like a local attorney. Her dad thinks of that particular sister I think is lazy and fat and she's like a bigger sister. There's the middle sister who is like the family peacemaker and she's happy to like help dispute and is like the happy one but she actually has some secret pain. Then there's the older sister that's like worshipped and has a beautiful house on the beach. Um, kind of sounds familiar. I really like it. It sounds good. I like sisterly novels and I love Kristen Hanna. She writes a really good book. So I'm excited for that one. Uh, she wrote my favorite book last year, The Great Alone. <laughs> the next one is The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. I absolutely love this book when I read it. It's a really good book. And then The Huntress, I liked even better when she put out The Huntress. So excellent author. The Alice Network was a real network um, in World War II that used women, um, sent women in as spies because they realized, as we do in all wars, like even the Iraq War, we realized we couldn't speak to half the population because in the Iraq War because they're women. And in World War II, we realized that women could get close to Nazis or um, it Italian Mussolini men. Um, we could get close to them and spy on them because men don't suspect women. So they sent women in to be spies um, that could speak French very well and could pull off being a French woman and to be spies for the English and the Allies. And so yeah, this is a story about one of them. It does involve a bunch of girls and moving parts and the head women. Um, but yeah, that is the Alice Network. Um, but then also as well, the Huntress is on the same lines. The Huntress is also, it's it's really good as well. <laughs> um, the next one I picked up was for somebody else and it is Robert Galbraith's Liesl White. So I'm not keeping this book because they have all of them in paperback. Um, and I also got Career of Evil a few months ago. So I'm gonna give them both of them because they read the first two and really liked them. But when I saw it, it was like a dollar. Um, and I just picked them up for him basically because I like them so that's not technically my book but I picked it up for somebody else. Okay so this one is The Secret Guest by Benjamin Black. So this is a World War II novel as well. This is an advanced reader copy. It came out January 2020. This one sounded really cute because it's shorter and it's got big font in there even though it's a bigger trade paperback size because it is an advanced reader's copy. I thought it sounded good. It is about like the princess and princess. Um, 
the princess and she gets sent to a secret place in Ireland which is a neutral country during World War II. I mean people just didn't attack it. So she gets sent there and nobody knows who she is and hence the secret guest. But it sounded lovely. I have a friend who works the library who picked it up for me because she said it sounds like something you read and she was square on. Dead on Amber. Thank you. <laughs> the next one as well is an advanced reader's copy. Ooh, when did this come out? Usually they always have like the name, like the date of when they come out on the cover. Okay, this one does not have a date, so I don't know when it comes out. Copyright 2019, so maybe it came out last year, um, at the end of last year. So this is Jennifer Chavarini, which I've read one of her books before and I've collected a few of them because I liked it. The Christmas Boutique. Um, okay, so this one is just like weeks before Christmas. Sorry, I'm reading off the back. It's about like a boutique in a small town where all like the crafts and everything get ruined and this money helps support the small town a lot. And so these quilters get together, which sounds really cute and good. I loved The Prayers for Sale, which was a quilter story. So, and I also like this author. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sending that to me, Amber. Um, the next one is The Light in Paris by Eleanor Brown. This one actually I got at the dollar store. I haven't read one I've gotten at the dollar store, but I kind of want to read one. This one just looks jazzy, right? This has got to be an 1820s novel. So yeah, this is about the jazz age um, in Paris. Uh, so this is about a girl who wrote, or this is about a girl who finds a book about her grandmother and then she gets to go like revisit her grandmother's time. So I'm guessing the book jumps back in time to jazz and in Paris and which I know jazz started in Louisiana. And the girl goes through like her own phase of like kind of going back and reminiscing and going through her own kind of Parisian getaway while reading about her grandma, which sounds fun, sounds cute beautiful purple like this is a strong purple and gold cover I liked it so this one is about Julie and Eva Evid and it is the futures a novel by Anna Pitt on I don't know how to say this This is a New York City based novel it's about a couple who are in love they go off to college they go to Yale together um, but they did grow up in different societies. So she grew up in a wealthy society of New York and he did not. So he has to be very hardworking. She ends up joining a nonprofit because she is privileged to be able to give back. Um, so she ends up joining a nonprofit and taking a different route. So they end up kind of losing connection. Then the fall, like the stocks crash and yeah we'll see what happens to the couple it sounded good it sounded cute it sounded like a completely different story than i read before and those are all the books i collected in january and i will see you guys later on these weeks because i'm also putting out romance reads so ever popular romance reads see me reads emotional reads YA reads chiclet reads um go ahead and check all those out this month i'm putting them out every friday because it is february and it's on home day i hope you guys enjoyed this book haul and i will see you guys next one see you guys next time bye